Step foot in the ring. The boxing bean, Mr. Eddie Futch. Eddie Futch. Veteran the trainer who handled Alex Stewart in his Fort recent Nine, fight with Evander Holyfield and has been training Riddick Bowe. Weighed in this morning at 226 pounds with white trunks with black stripes with a record of 12 wins, no losses, 11 knockouts. From the Brownsville section of Brooklyn, New York, Riddick, the Iceman Bowe. If you could feel a sense of pride in the introductions, it's because Rock Newman is the manager of Riddick Bowe. Well, you know, Rock, Rock Newman had, has talks, will travel, <laughs> willing to do anything. But they, again, you know, on account of the snow, they, the announcer couldn't get here, so uh, Rock Newman is filling in, and admirably, I will say. And his hand didn't even shake when he was that's, making the announcement. That's right. The man they call White Lightning, Charlie Woolard. There is Riddick Bowe. As an amateur, if there was a criticism of Riddick Bowe, it was his concentration level, his concentration and his determination to train hard. He's always been able to talk a good fight, and when he's in shape, has, has fought pretty well throughout his amateur career and early as in his career as a pro, though the fights I've seen him as a pro kill, he really hasn't been tested and hasn't been in against much of an opponent. Well, he's been, you know, he's been in with uh, some what you call fair guys, and he's just a little too much of them. You know, remember when he was in the uh, amateurs, he really had a big mouth. Uh, he, he was talking about Mike Tyson being a sparring partner within two years. And then, of course, he lost in the finals of the Olympics. And I think he learned from that. And I think Rock Newman's done a great job with him. And, of course, he has Eddie Futch, the old master training him, so he's got a lot of good things going for him. Oh, moves very well. A lot of spring in his legs, a lot of bounce. And he can punch. Throws his jab very well. He follows with a good straight right hand behind it. And Willard's face is already starting to redden from those stiff left jabs of Riddick Bowe. Looping that right hand Riddick Bowe time, yeah. And Willard already is starting to get a discouraged look on his face, man. Like, what am I doing here? Good body shots by Bo. Bo will alternate that lead, and when he throws that right hand lead, it's pretty straight and accurate. Willard with a nice little flurry just to let Riddick know, Bo know he's around. Sometimes that might be a bad thing to do. You wake Riddick Bowe up like that. Well, I'll tell you, he, Riddick Bowe has been awake, though, since the opening bell, Sam. Throwing some good snapping left jabs. I like that jab. Good look of concentration on the face of Riddick Bowe. Looks like he's just trying to wait for that one big one now, Bowe. Because he's got all his set up. There it was. And again, that time the right hand landed. Willard felt that, trying to get the left up to block the right hand. And he ties both. Bo is very, very smooth, Sam. Right hand lands again, and another one. Willard takes some rap because he's got hit with some solid right hand. A little wobbly right now. Tough to be always backing up, and that's what Charlie Willard seems to be doing. Intimidating presence is Riddick Bowe. End of round one. First round knockouts. Uh, Sam, Willard seemed a little wobbly getting off the stool. Could be from those right hands. <laughs> Sam, once you have that good jab working, the way Riddick Bowe has an idea, you can do an awful lot of things. Because once you get that stiff jab in there, you can faint. When a guy falls for the paint, then you can hit him with the big punches and the combination. Nothing like a good stiff left jab, though. Look at that. There it is again, just to set the guy up. Hasn't punched in combinations yet in this round, as Eddie Futch had talked to him about between rounds. Redness on the 
nose of Charlie Willard. Moses is stalking. Working the body. Nothing landed that time. A raising right hand from Charlie Willard. There's that right hand lead. Well, Bo woke himself up. You see that little dance with his feet? Just made up his mind as if, as if to say, let's get this thing over with. Got his hands down now, Bo. But look at that stiff jab. Yes, look at that little dance again. A little showboating time for Riddick Bo. Smiling to the crowd. There we go. Complete confidence. It's a situation where he feels that there's no way that Charlie Willard can hurt him. And Bo lands the right hand. Oh, good, great right hand. Willard went down hard. In a lot of pain. Up at seven. It's all over. Well, it's set to continue. Well, we have a brave referee in there now. Referee is Bill Mosley. There's a cut on the bridge of the nose of Charlie Woolard. Bo moving in to try and finish him off. Double body shot. Right hand, left hook. The down is four. Woolard again in a lot of pain. The down is six. Up at eight. Going to continue. There's a three knockdown rule in effect. And that's it. It's over. And it could have been stopped before Willard took any more punches. Took a lot of unnecessary punishment to Willard. He's in a lot of pain, and it was that right hand, left hook, both to the body, that really inflicted a lot of pain on Charlie Willard. And you know, Riddick Poe showed me just about everything tonight, Sam. Just about everything. And I like that stiff jab best of all. But he can punch, Bo. He puts marks on you. Riddick Poe has had five first-round knockouts and now three second-round knockouts. In 13 fights, he has not been beyond the fourth round. And only once has he gone to a decision. That was with Garing Lane in his third pro fight in Atlantic City. Let's take a look at that first right hand that Riddick Bowe landed. And there it is. Right on the temple, Sam. Set up well by that jab. And now the body shots that I was talking about, Jill. Well, I, again, that's what we say. He showed us just about everything. There's a right hand. Now he's going to bang to the body with both hands. I'm, there isn't much more that a, a guy like a Riddick Bow could do. He really looked good. Very promising Riddick Bow. Now here, the fight is allowed to continue after the... After the knockdown, and then Woolard getting up, the fight was allowed to continue, and uh, he went down for the third and final time. Let's get the.